Next is the uh, connection detail pane. And um, this is going to be tremendously helpful for always on VPN administrators who have to generate user activity reports. So for example, uh, let's say, you know, uh, InfoSec comes to you and says, hey, you know, we have a potential uh, breach. There's an, there's an event we're investigating and we need to know where Joe user went uh, around this particular time or date range. And we want to know what they, where they connected from and what resources they accessed. Um, doing that on one server, maybe two servers, not terrible. Doing it on a handful of servers or dozens of servers or dozens and dozens of servers is quite tedious and time consuming. Um, at the end of the day, this one's going to be really, really helpful if you have to do this at, with any regularity at all. And in this scenario, let's say, for example, I, I, I get a request to find some information on a specific user. So I'll select uh, this test user here, Rick Deckard, and I'm going to choose my time zone. And I, I've been asked to find them in October of uh, 2023, roughly, right? So let's see if I can make that nice and even. And there we go. Awesome. And they didn't connect at that time. So let me expand that. Okay, great. So, so we found some connections. I want to actually see this user on more than one server. There we go. Okay, great. So they've made connections across multiple servers during this time frame. Okay. So what I can do then, so I've, I've drilled down per the user and now I want to find out, you know, individual servers. I could actually filter them here or I could just simply expand these and drill down and you'll see that these connections are then filtered. There was a lot of connections to VPN3 during this date range and I can particular, I can highlight this, which gives me an overview, right? So this tells me all of the client connections, but I can also drill down to an individual connection and then you see the reports change and give me the very specific information on what what they they uh, were connecting through. So this would have been the, um, uh, and of course, this is a misconfiguration of my lab. Uh, this should be a public IP address. Um, these should be public IP addresses, but these are the resources. These would be their, their uh, the client's original source IP address. And these are the resources that the user accessed. And by the way, you'll notice that IPv6 is fully supported here. So we have IPv6 addresses that are represented as well. So if you're using IPv6, you're in good shape. 